Hundreds have marched in memory of the 140 Queensland police officers killed in the line of duty. Men and women who've paid the ultimate sacrifice on the thin blue line were honoured in poignant ceremonies across the state. An ocean of blue marching through Brisbane's streets. Remembering the 140 Queensland police officers who've died in service. No greater sacrifice can be asked for or can be made by than that of these fine men and women. Special recognition for the only female police officers who lost their lives. Constable Sondra Lena was hit by a car and Constable Sally Urquhart died in the Lockhart plane crash. Hand-drawn portraits of the women were given to their heartbroken parents. She was taken far too early. Yeah, and we were proud that she served in the police service. A reminder, it's not just the sacrifice made by those in uniform, but the scar it leaves on those left behind. Like the Gold Coast family of Constable Brett Irwin, who was shot dead serving a warrant. You know, I reckon he would have had a bright future if not for uh, what had happened. It's not just about the contribution made on home soil. Today also marks 100 years since eight officers from Queensland died in World War I. Two years have passed since the last Queensland officer was killed on the job, but the bravery they show every day is never far from mind. It makes uh, their job doubly difficult when they turn out uh, to a call for assistance. They never know what they're going to face. Claire Hunter, Nine News.